mostly be about free speech. Thank you, Azim. I know the time is approaching over uh, 10 minutes away from sunset time, so I'll be brief. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, a lot of things you heard, especially from the last uh, speech, I take it from there, the restrictions. What's special about fasting in Islam? The divine injunctions that came in the Quran, this was in the third year after the community established itself. There was always this spiritual fasting. You can't be a Muslim unless you accept and believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Gospel and the Torah. Not the whole Bible, but the Pentecost and the Gospel. And the fasting, the injunctions you said earlier, it was prescribed as it was prescribed. So it's a continuation of an act that is appreciated in every religion. Rather than giving you a lecture, many years ago I used to have a TV show. And after, it's very, for an imam, it's very hectic. Ramadan is a hectic day. We don't sleep, pretty much. So, I do not like to delay my messages and emails. So I, I check my message before I go to, to sleep or just wait for, you know, because of the solstice now we don't sleep. Because by the time we finish prayers at 1.30, then we have the meal at 3 a.m. If I sleep, I'm gone and wake up maybe at 8 a.m. So we stay up and I sleep in the morning. So I found this message from a, a Christian woman from Montreal. She said, I saw your show on fasting. And I said to myself, I found the solution for the ills and problems of the world. A Christian, passionate woman about her faith. But she said the following, the Holy Spirit tells me to send you a donation of $500 from a Christian woman. The power of fasting in Ramadan. St. Catherine of Siena couldn't make it today because they have an event. Their church was vandalized, Chief, events, uh, Chief Evans, she knows about the story. And I visited it a month ago and I came to my community. It touched me so bad. On Friday I said, we have to do something. And we collected in one service, Friday, $5,000. So I handed it yesterday. And they are sending their regards to everyone here. They wanted Father Camilo uh, Lamlo wanted to be with us here today, but they have already uh, some engagement. This is the power of fasting. It transcends our boundaries. So when I fast, I connect more with other faiths. We may pray differently, we may, but we pray to the same God. But when we fast, we prevent ourselves like God tested Adam and Eve, He told them not to come close to the tree as we read in the Bible in Genesis and we read in the Quran. He had all kinds of trees, all kinds of fruits. But it's a human nature. The desire, the, the forbidden is always desired. We like what we are not allowed to have. And this is where Satan works on us. We've become preoccupied in our mind. Why can I have it? People don't appreciate the blessings they have. And they just want what others have, although that what they have is really not worth it to have. And this is a human weakness. Fasting tells me, you know what? Even the things that you're allowed to have, we are not going to stop you for one month. No eating, no drinking. How come this is essential? I can't live without it. He said, just from sunset to sun down. Sorry, from, sun, uh, from dawn to sundown. So the power of fasting is something that tells us, as the lady said in the phone, she said, I think we have the solution for the poverty. 80%, and it's increasing by the way, I'm hearing it's gone more. 80% of the world population consumes 20% of the world's resources. And 20% of the world population controls 80% of the resources. The disparity, the injustice, the poverty, 
we are the 2% luckiest people in the world. We are the 2%. Yet, even our children are not happy. They want more. You have to bribe them to get them to get that smile that you deserve as a father or mother. And this is the reality we have. Fasting tells us, we'll deprive you to teach you. Like depriving the horse from sugar or treats until the horse jumps. It's a human nature. Fasting is the greatest school that tells us to know ourselves. And by knowing ourselves, we get to know God. And my minute is up. Thank you.